Take a walk inside the heart. See how long before you're wandering in the dark. One could seek out the morning sky or choose to lie. See when you lie. It works for a while Till you're stuck in a jail of your own design Pray to be caught Not get away Be made to pay Pay your dues It's good for you all the consequence of favoring the truth Keeping it real, making it right Break down and cry Cry for love, you love to hurt now you know the healing bones is lonely work Some broken things may never mend They have to end So you take a walk inside the heart To see how long before you're wandering in the dark But you seek out the morning sky And it makes you cry Cry for love to her now you know the healing bones is lonely work some broken things may never mend they have to end lonely work by fruition on 91.1 the globe i'm mackenzie here live in studio with fruition, Jay, Kellen, and Mimi, welcome to the Globe. Thank you. Hey. Thank you. It's so nice to be here. So you have a show in Chicago tonight, more dates around the Midwest. Over the next few weeks, you can find all that information more at fruitionband.com. Their latest studio album from August, How to Make Mistakes, is on streaming services, as well as their newest single, Whole World of Trouble. So you're in the middle of tour, starting your Midwest leg. How's the tour life? Ooh. We had a really long van day yesterday. We played in Toronto the night before. You know, we're just uh, getting our feet wet on this run again. This is only night two coming up tonight of nice. show days. Yeah. So. Yesterday was a long driving day through rain, so <laughs> feel kind of like an alien a little bit. <laughs> but You look like a person. Cool. Yeah, That's yeah. good. But we really love Chicago. It's, uh, it's one of our best markets, so we're really excited for tonight. Yeah. Just down the road from Goshen. Yeah, yeah, not too far. So I want to talk about your most recent single, Whole World of Trouble. It seems to be a call out to a lot of people today to come together and make peace. You said you had an urgent need to record this song. What was so important about this one that you had to take a day during tour to record the song and put it out immediately? I feel like it was uh, before, you know, the election. So like during an election cycle, especially us as musicians, we're out on the road and we can you can just feel tension everywhere, you know, and this one was a doozy. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, we I guess it was just like uh, 
we felt it was kind of imperative to record that song because the message of it is just to kind of think a little more and try and do better as people. Um, so it just felt like a, a really good moment to put out some kind of material like that. So you recorded this very similar to how you recorded your most recent album, How to Make Mistakes, recorded completely live. Everyone played together in real time. What was that experience like, and would you do it again? I feel like we'll absolutely do it again. Um, you know, it's fun going into studios and playing with all the neat toys and getting kind of crazy effects and crazy sounds and making all these cool layers. Like, that That like high production stuff is is very fun and and very cool to explore but um it felt so good for this album and for that song to just kind of get back to the roots of who we are as a unit and know um you know what kind of power we can wield all together in real time just like very organically um i think we will i think we will do more recordings like that i think we will do more polished produced like fancy toys and tricks too, but um, I, I love getting back to the roots like we did with this album. Yeah, and to be clear, a whole world of trouble, we did do a, um, some tracking. We did the, we tracked the, the harmonies and like, what else? Maybe, oh, I think I did an acoustic guitar too. But um, that kind of thing is, uh, always seems kind of best. You always want to get like the, the basic essence of the song, you know? So recording all live is something we've kind of, I mean, we've already really done that for a lot of records, but yeah, trying to, trying to keep it more authentic to the song, basically whatever the song is calling for is kind of what we do. But yeah, loved doing it live. Obviously very easy that way in the sense of, oh, did we get it? Let's just play it again, you know? So. Yes, well, you have another song that you're going to play for us. Can you tell me... Do you have anything you want to say about this? Uh, this is a this is a song that's on the new record, but was written probably over ten years ago, and it just kind of never fit on a record, and it ended up fitting on this last one. Um, so yeah, it's on how to make mistakes. If people dig it, I think. Uh I think in the studio version, too, I think we all played different instruments. Did you play octave mandolin on that one? I did. So we had octave mandolin and resonator guitar for that one, and I played piano on it. So this is a, a nice little flipping the uh, instrumentation on its head a little bit for yeah. the studio sesh here. We're experimenting right here in the studio. <laughs> nice. Well, take it away. Cool. You get down so low You're living your life in the gutter In the gutter with the poison Drinking that gasoline Why don't you lift up your head And wipe your face in the moonlight In the moonlight of the evening When everything is just the same Can you tell me Can you tell me? You said, what the hell's the difference when you sell your soul for a dollar, for a dollar in the alley, scattered in the broken glass? What's our use in trying, man? You say everything happens for a reason, for a reason that no one knows. The wheel keeps spinning around Can you tell me? Can you tell me?
Now just to do you think you are Throwing your stones at the pigeons At the pigeons that are starving In the concrete jungles of man Said where's a man supposed to go Except for where he's standing Where he's standing in the quicksand Struggling only makes you sink Can you tell me 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 by fruition on 91.1 the globe I'm live in studio with Fruition. They have a show in Chicago tonight. More dates around the Midwest coming up. You can find all that at fruitionband.com. The latest studio album from August, How to Make Mistakes, is on all streaming services, as well as their newest single, Whole World of Trouble. So you've talked a lot about COVID and how touring life was getting more and more tense until it just abruptly ended when the pandemic hit. You spent about a year apart before you came back together. What was that first band practice like? cathartic mm-hmm. um a little a, a little bizarre because uh you have this group of people whom which you spend more time with than anyone else probably including family and lovers and stuff like we are together a lot um, and live in very close quarters so to be apart from that for so long um sure there was some ref- refreshment in that of having space and whatnot but um you start to miss your peeps and you start to miss this like collective experience of making art and making magic together that is a greater than the sum of its parts type of uh, phenomenon so when we got back together you know we're trying to decide if we keep this train moving and and looking forward to seeing if we still had that uh that it thing, that je ne sais quoi together. Um, And the first time we got back together and started playing, it was was all there, it all came flooding back. Um, You know, old friends, old friends are the best. Um, And we are exactly that, so felt good. Now, Kellen, you've said that a word that describes this album for you is trust. Can you speak on what that means for you? Yeah, I think, you know, calling back to what we were talking about at the last segment about doing it all live, um, that takes a certain amount of of trust. And it takes a certain amount of un- understanding each other as musicians and as people and um, a certain amount of skill and, I don't know, like bravery even, <laughs> because you're doing it all live. Um, you're not doing it to a click track. You're not, you know, a lot of times when you're in the studio, you are... Uh, you just play through and then if you mess up here or there, if you want to add something, then you go back in and you edit it or you comp in the right part or the right harmony or whatever. And the whole idea for this one was to do it all live, uh, you know, kind of warts and all. And you, in order to do that successfully, everyone has to trust their own skills and their own um, approach. And then also trust each other musically to, um, to have each other's backs to like, uh, listen and to like make yourself heard and make your, make your part a good part of a, of a, an overall picture. Um, and when you're doing it live, you know, you don't really have a chance, like I said, to fix it. So you got to trust each other to, to, um, to do good, to be consistent. Too. Yeah. To yeah. be consistent. Exactly. Now, I want to go back all the way to Portland in 2008. Very start of the band. You were so busking on streets. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. What what skills did you pick up that at that time that you're still using today? Oh, man. How to eat without money. <laughs> <laughs> How to smoke cigarettes without yeah. money. <laughs> we don't smoke anymore. Um, but <laughs> uh, you learn a lot of stuff on the street. You learn... Uh, you learn crowd interaction in a very, very close uh, quarters. A visceral way. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, 
you we also you know i mean what's cool about busking is you know there are some places in portland where we'd go busk that where where people would take the train when they're getting off from work you know so you'd have groups of people down there listening to you play and then they get on the train and they leave and hopefully a bunch of them will throw money in your case you know and but then there's another group of people that will show up and the streets kind of like that anyway so what was really cool about busking is you could try out new stuff and you could play it over and over you know you could like okay ooh, somebody gave us a dollar on this song let's do it again let's and you really get to like stretch out um i'm so grateful for that time busking because you know we oftentimes would do it from you know we could go down there and just play for an hour or two and if we're satisfied with what we got out of it then we'd roll but sometimes we had nothing to do and we'd be down there for like five six seven hours just sitting on the street playing music so you get your practice you know there's a lot of practice and and you're right about the like there's a lot of turnover on the street so like you said like it's it's almost kind of like you have a focus group of like what's working what's like hooking people um who have no intro to hearing us and they're just like whoa is it it, it's basically just pass or fail like is this good enough for me to stop or not and then you you kind of gauge what's working, which harmonies are hitting them, which songs are like turning heads, and then you kind of can build a set out of that. And so that's what we did. And it's really freeing too, because there's no microphones you have to stand around, so you can move all around and you can, you know, shock people with where, <laughs> you know, how you're doing it. Um, so I think it really helped develop, at least personally for me, like my performance style too, not just how I'm playing or singing, but what my body's doing and things like that. Mm. Yes, well, wonderful. Thank you so much for joining us in studio today. You have one more song for us. Take it back whenever you're ready. Thank you so much. some time Last I recall we were drenched in wine And I've been dry damn near three years I saved a whole lot of money and double the tears Mm -hmm. Way back Chase the night Who won the race By the morning light Howling in the street And acting a fool Now I ain't even Trying to play it cool mm-hmm. Would I take it back Would I take it back? Would I take it back? If you loved me then, how do you like me now? Can't help but feeling like a bore somehow. If you need entertaining, you just hit the town. Done my time with the jokers and the clown. Mm-hmm. But it's high time I checked in on you. Are your lips still purple? Is your heart still blue? Is your father still ill or even around? He was always telling you to simmer down Mm -hmm. Are you doing all right? Are you doing all right? Are you doing all right? I got regrets without a doubt 
what drove you to scream and shout We've come a long way, we're still sweeping up the mess And any time you want, you can reassess mm -hmm. Would you take it back? Would you take it back? Would you take it back? some time last I recall we were drenched in wine 